Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of classifying triangles. This is standard 5.5a and what we're looking at today is two different ways in which we can classify or we can sort triangles based on their attributes. And so one of the ways that we can always do that is by side length. So there's three different ways that we can classify triangles based on how long their sides are. And then the other way is by angle measure. And we'll look at some terms, but we'll also look at an example as well. So we've got side length. If you've got zero sides or zero equal sides, so no sides are the same, that is a scalene triangle. And so when we're talking about a scalene triangle, it's just kind of a weird looking triangle. So we'll kind of do something like this. This is a scalene triangle and you might see a little one hash mark, two hash marks, and three hash marks, which means zero sides are the same length. They're all different. Now we've got two equal sides, two sides that are the same length, and you've got isosceles. So isosceles, think of the SOS, same other same, or the ELE -E as the equal long equal. Either way, you've got two letters that are the same in each of those little groups. And so that means you have two sides that are the same on your isosceles triangles. So you've got your traditional isosceles like this, right? And you've got these two are the same. That one's different. You could also say that this particular triangle, which we're going to look at in just a moment, all three sides are the same, but it's also an isosceles because it has at least two sides are the same. Now this triangle, even though it can't technically be an isosceles, has a special name all by itself. And that is three equal sides. So all three sides are equal, and that is going to be an equilateral. And you almost see that word equal in there. It's just misspelled just a tad, but you see equal with an I instead of an A, and that means all three sides are the same. So this particular triangle fits both in the isosceles because it has at least two equal sides and the equilateral section. Now, let's look at our angle measure. And I'm going to start right in the middle with our right triangle, simply because that is a 90 degree measure 90 degree angle and that is really kind of the benchmark of what we use right here so let me draw a right triangle right down here actually i'll do it right here next to it so it usually has a little square right there so that is a right triangle because it has a perpendicular 90 degree angle one angle is straight up and down one angle is side to side and it doesn't have to be facing uh, left to right it can actually kind of be like this, rotate it a little bit, that's fine. It will still have that little square. That's always going to stay. So your right angle or your right triangle is the one that we compare everything against. So when we have a triangle that is less than 90 degrees and you have all three, so this is all three angles are less than 90. That is gonna be what we call an acute triangle. So an acute triangle might look like this. That isosceles one that I drew over there, I can bring that over because all three of these little angles right here are less than a square corner. They're all less than 90 degrees. So we compare everything as to whether it's equal to, less than, or greater than that right angle. So all three of these are a smaller than 90 degrees, which means it's an acute triangle. Now you can only have one 90 degree angle in a triangle. If you try to have more than one, it's gonna to have to turn into a, a quadrilateral. And the final one is if you have one angle that is greater than 90 degrees, right? So everything compares against that 90 degree angle. And if you have one angle that is larger, that is what we call obtuse. And it's kind of got like a big fat angle. And that scalene that we started with right up here that's actually obtuse because look at this right here. That's a big fat angle that's larger. So that is an obtuse scalene. So that's how we can classify triangles by side length and also by angle measure.